There's new information tonight in the bizarre story of a local woman found to be alive after paramedics declared her dead and she was taken to a funeral home. Tonight we've got the 911 calls from the moment workers at James H. Cole realized Tamisha Beauchamp of Southfield was breathing. Our Mara McDonald live on Detroit's west side and Mara, they wasted no time in calling 911. Devin, I'll tell you what, once you listen to these 911 calls, I think one thing is very clear. This staffer here at Kohl's had a reservoir of cool about him that I think most of us in the same circumstance would not be able to muster. Take a look. It was certainly not a typical day at the funeral home or for 911. Take a listen to the initial call. I mean, I picked the deceased patient up uh, for, for the... Uh from the house, the mother told me she was deceased. She's still breathing and uh, she's uh, breathing out of her mouth and her stomach. They're talking about 20-year-old Tamisha Beauchamp who has cerebral palsy and severe breathing issues. Her parents call 911 to their Southfield home because they say she was struggling to breathe. Southfield paramedics arrive and try and resuscitate her. Now, two of those paramedics have been suspended by the state while an investigation into their actions continues. Detroit 911 on the phone with Cole tried to establish how often Beauchamp was breathing. Take a listen. Say now, every time she breathes in. Now, 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 now. she's constantly, constantly breathing. Detroit EMS got to Cole and took Beauchamp to the hospital where she remains in critical condition. The Beauchamps have retained Jeffrey Figer, who says only her brainstem is currently functioning. I've been doing it like 32 years. I've never had a situation like this. Back here live tonight, as we speak, there are multiple investigations going on by the state, by the Southfield Fire Department, to determine whether the actions of those Southfield paramedics and EMTs were appropriate in this case and how they came to the determination that she was deceased. We're live on Detroit's West Side. I'm Mara McDonald. Back to you. Still such an astonishing story. All right, Mara.